Hello, this is a quick uh, video showing you how to use the MapSmith modeler tiles in Photoshop to make your own um, dungeon maps or uh, battle maps. And uh, of course, you can also use them in uh, Roll20 or other virtual tabletops, but this one is to show how it works in Photoshop. Uh, so you go, uh, you create a new file. Um, it's going to be fairly big, so I'm working on an older Mac right now, so it can be a little bit sluggish, but I'll go ahead and create a, a file 5000 pixels to start with. And then the first thing I'll do is I'll go up to Preferences, uh, Guides, Grid and Slices. And over here where it says Grid, I'm going to set it to 140 pixels, one subdivision and you can change the color to whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. And to show the grid, you press Command or Control on Windows, Command, uh, Comma, I think it's uh, what it's called, and that turns on the grid. Um, and this is very helpful because everything you do now uh, snaps to the grid. You can check it here, um, View, Snap to Grid. All right, here I have my folder with a bunch of the modular tiles and um, depending on the version of Photoshop you have, there's a, uh, a certain way to do it. If I drag this one straight in here, it's going to be really big and you have to sort of manually size it to fit. So that's not really helpful. Um, what I'll do is I'll right click it and then open in Photoshop. So it opens the file itself. I select all copy. So command A, command C, um, and then paste it here, command V. And now it's the actual size. So you don't have to scale anything. And you see when I move it around, it automatically snaps to the grid. Let me adjust the color of the grid uh, real quick. So it's not as intrusive. Make a little bit darker, all right. And you can see here, you have your background layer and your layer with the tile. And now you can start putting stuff together um, to make a map. So let me grab this one, open Photoshop. I select all, so Command A, copy, close the file paste it and what I do here is I press command T for transform and when you hold shift you can rotate it um, at square angles or straight angles uh, like this oh nice my Siri my Siri is responding to me <laughs> nice um, and as you can see it aligns perfectly I can zoom in a little bit to show it. Hold the space bar to get your hand tool so you can grab the canvas and move it around. And as you can see, it aligns perfectly. An easy way to duplicate uh, a piece that you already have is grab the layer and drag it on top of the page icon there. And that instantly copies it. And then you can move it around if you have a duplicate. So command T to transform, hold shift to rotate it um, in discrete values and move it and let it snap to the grid. There you go. Uh, the way the tiles are set up, um, these are new tiles. I'm, I'm just finishing them so the file names are not correct yet. But let me grab another folder. And if you look here, you can see uh, W1, W2. And this basically means the width of the corridor or the passage, whatever you want to call it. So when I open the file, you can see the space between the walls is two, two squares wide. And this will help you find um, corridors and 
uh, junctions, crossings, rooms that match together uh, really easily. So, for example, a crossing with a three will align uh, perfectly with a, a three width corridor. Um, so that's a, a neat trick. Um, yeah, so there you go. And then when you're all done, for example, if you want to decrease the file size a bit, you can uh, click a layer and holding shift, you can click the, the bottom one and then, then press command E to merge all the layers. You can also go up here and say flatten image or merge layers but command E is a nice shortcut uh, and this if you have a lot of separate pieces and you want to sort of um, consolidate everything into a single layer you select the layers command E and that will um, merge it so you can go ahead and save this as uh, a transparent PNG or a JPEG image or finished map so there you go uh, if you want to see more of the modular tiles, tiles just go to loresmith.com. I'll post the link in the description. And if you have more questions about how to use the modular tiles, just uh, comment below the video. All right, thanks. Take care.